Hello everyone, it's now time for the main event of Season 3, race number 2 of EA Sports Supercross 2000, in which I'm currently playing as Mikel Pichon in Anaheim number 2. I just won my heat race by 27.9 seconds over Mike LaRocco. Doug Henry and John Dowd will also join us in going to the main event. So that will send the, other, the two other Honda stable meets, Kevin Wyndham and Sebastian Tortelli, off to the LCQ, who finished 5th and 8th. And the two Suzuki stablemates and Larry Ward and Greg Albertine to the LCQ as well. And Amig and Ferry will have to go to the sidelines because they finished ninth and tenth. We already know who four of the six of the ten guys are. Let's find out the other six. Well, this is easy. Tortelli and Albertine made it out of the LCQ. While Huffman, Deegan, Gonzalez, and Craig made it out of heat number two. So, there's your lineup. It is Pichon, Henry, LaRocco, Dow, Tortelli, Albertine, Huffman, Deegan, Gonzalez, and Mike Craig. Let's go. There's the 32nd point. Here we go. And the gate is dropped. We are underway with the main event. Gets the jump into the first turn. Of course, Mikel Pichon, as I mentioned in the qualifying video, a, a two-time uh, 125 East Supercross champion in 95 and 96. And also, Pichon had one of the most spectacular crashes at, at Atlanta when he bailed off his when he bailed off his bike in mid-flight over a triple to avoid a, a down rider. Unfortunately, Pichon wasn't hurt in the incident. Eleven laps to go. Pichon is the current leader. Our team looks fast. Of course, uh, also Mikel Pichon is dropping back. Henry dropping back. Of course, Mikel Pichon Henry just passing Morocco. Henry is by Morocco. Of course, Mikel Pichon won the Glen Helen National Opener in 1998 with a 1-5, or, uh, or whatever it was. Who ended up? Well, McGrath ended up with the 9-5. After winning moto number one and getting a fifth in moto number two. But of course, Jeremy McGrath's last, nas last national win was at Hangtown in 98. The 1-2. Bailey is block passing considered legal. Well, it is if you don't intentionally try to knock your opponent off the court. If it's part of your natural line, it's cool. And of course, Mikel Pichon ended with the end of the 98 season with the second place at the finale in Vegas behind Jeremy McGrath. Outdoor venues, don't they? Supercross is a tight sprint race. It also favors the riders who aren't afraid to jump in. Some guys just need more time and room. Now watch this midnight. On now, Nine laps to go. July sure. or August 3rd, 2011, Wednesday. Pedro Gonzalez and I triple by him, no problem. Race 
12 laps, that's all my main events are. To a fan new to Supercross, David, they might be saying, what's with these stunts? They might be saying that, Art, but they love it. It's something completely separate from the race. Oh. It puts everyone in a good mood. Riders, the spectators. Because it's just so much fun. No mistake there, trying to set myself up for the triple. Wasn't able to do it. Could only roll the first and then double out. But I did the right thing there. They are, and the team managers get a little nervous if it gets out of hand. There's also the site of Jimmy Button's last Supercross podium, in third place, behind Jeremy McGrath and Ezra Lusk, who ended up winning the race. I'm coming up on Tortelli and Albertine now. Yeah, but sometimes if the rider has a huge lead, they start to style it and big jump just to get the crowd into it. Sometimes they'll do it just to relax. That's the way they ride during the week with the pressure. Oh! You take a Check out Hoffman. You gotta hope you don't go down as well. That was my mistake. I realized that Hoffman was too close, but I was already committed. Dow shows off. When uh, Pichon was with Honda, there was a bit of a confrontation shortly into the national season, and Honda ended up firing him or letting him go. I think he had gotten a fight with somebody. I don't remember exactly when, exact, the exact details of that, but that was around Southwick when Pichon was let go. And that was after a relatively good Supercross season, occasionally getting seconds behind Jeremy McGrath and Ezra Lutz, who took most of the race wins. Kevin Wyndham taking two races. Jeremy taking the most at eight. This Craig gets by Gonzalez, is actually a lap down. Team France for the, uh, the nation's a few times. There's one year in particular, and that was 2001 that he was on there after a successful season in Europe. Three laps to go. in the heat race. Gets him going with his trademark. They mentioned the heat race, Mattel Pichon ended the 1998 Supercross season with a second place at the finale in Vegas behind Jeremy McGrath. The guy finishing in third there was Henry. May have some arm pump going on. 
Albertine looks like he has some arm. Sounds like he has some arm pump. Albertine, show it off a bit. Next time around, it'll be two laps to go, and then white flag will be out. I must have at least a 35 second lead on second place, whoever it is. Lap number 10. Maybe getting some arm pump. Uh, Mikel Pichon, of course, is not the only Frenchman, is not the only French import to race in the United States. Sebastian Tortelli, David Villeman, then uh, now it was, uh, then it was uh, Loray, Pascal Loray, Eric Sorby came over. Mike Morocco gives his fans quite a show. Frederick Bollet was here a few times. There's a problem for David Huffman. David Huffman spent a lot of time on the car. When he moved up, there were big expectations on him. He ended up injured the last two seasons just when he was getting the ball rolling. Yep. Damon Huffman injuring his leg after winning the Atlanta Supercross in 1997. Unfortunately, it knocked him out for the rest of the season after he won his first professional Supercross, and then he was injured in practice the very next week. Let him know he's there. Doesn't matter. I won the race. The winner of the main event, Pichon. Great showing tonight by Mikel Pichon. Doug Henry will come through for second, over 25 seconds down. Mike LaRocca will get third. We're still waiting on fourth to come to come through. So I wasn't even close to what I said earlier. I thought I had a 35 second lead. Turns out my ending result was 25. But yeah, I put a huge distance on them. Michael Craig will finish in fourth. A great ride for him. Good ride for Mike Craig to get fourth place. I'm glad I got this race on tape. John Dowd will finish in fifth. Albertine will get sixth. Damon Huffman will finish 7th. Sebastian Tortelli will get 8th. So Damon Huffman, despite going down twice, was still able to finish in front of Tortelli. Brian Deegan will get 9th, and Pedro Gonzalez will round out your top 10.
still waiting on short, or, uh, Pedro Gonzalez to come through. This is going to take a while. And there, Pedro Gonzalez finally comes through for 10th. So there are your results. It is Pichon, Henry, LaRocco, the top three. Craig and Dowd rounding out the top five. Albertine recovering for sixth. Damon Huffman recovering for a seventh as well. Good ride for Huffman. Tortelli in eighth. Deegan and Pedro Gonzalez round out your top ten. And I will see you all for race number three of season three of EA Sports Supercross 2000. Catch you later.